Hi guys, good morning everyone. How are you guys doing today or tonight? I hope you are doing awesome and great. It is good to see you here again. Okay, we have 14 people. Thank you guys for joining this morning here and evening to your place. So how are you guys doing today? Uh, I hope you are doing well. And it's Saturday, uh, Sunday, I think Saturday evening there. And here is, here is Monday. Monday. Tom, thank you so much for the super sticker. I appreciate that. I appreciate the, the help and for supporting my channel. You guys can hear my voice. I don't know if you guys can hear me. If I have connection or the microphone is working i don't know okay we'll just wait a few people guys before we start our content or our topic today or we'll just wait 20 people at least you guys can see me or you guys can hear i don't know if you guys can hear 20 people at Okay, too much light, I think. Good morning. Good morning, Hevi. Good morning, Scott. Matthew, good morning to you or good evening. Thank you so much for being here. Good morning, Sir Darin. Good morning to you. Matthew, good morning, Matthew. Hi, Jean. Sisi Nadine, thank you so much for being here. Thank you very much for uh, being here, Sisi Nadine. And to Sir Randy, good morning, Sir Randy. How are you, Sir Randy? Sir Bros, good morning, Sir Bros. Steve, good morning, Sir Steve. Good morning to you. Guys, please let me know, guys, what about my, la my ring light? Was, this, was it too, uh, too much light? Or Hi. I, I don't know. Okay. Good morning, Panatic Forager. Good morning to you. Sound, good sound and picture. Okay. Not too much light, guys. It's not too much light. Do I need to adjust more? Good morning, Thomas. Good morning, Thomas. How are you, Thomas? How are you, Sir Matthew? Good morning. Clear. Okay. Thank you so much for uh, saying that. Torbo, good morning. We hear you. Good morning, Ging. Good morning to you as well. Good morning, Thomas. Good morning. Jonathan, thank you. Hello, Ging. Looking great as always. Thank you so much, Jonathan, for being here. I appreciate your presence. You look a little bit sleepy still. <laughs> Really? Do I look like? Okay. Good morning, Sir Aprim. Good morning to you. Sir Wendell, good morning to you as well. Donna Jones, it's been a while. You're here. <laughs> oh, my God. Sir Donna Jones, good morning to you. It's been a while you're not here. Good to see you back here. Thank you so much for uh, being here. <laughs> All right. It's very hot here. I tried to find the... Um, uh, where is this? I tried to find the... I know, guys, the aircon here, but I couldn't find the, my uh, remote. Good morning to you, Wendell. We can hear you. Thank you. Thank you so much, Dana Jones. How are you doing? It's been a while you're not here. I thought you were mad to me. Good morning, King. How are you? Thank you for asking. I'm good. How are you too? They don't travel. Good morning. Good morning there. Good morning to you, King. I can hear you just fine. Thank you, Sir Ricky Boris, for being here. I appreciate your time for stopping by. I'm going to open the door, guys. It's hot. Thank 
Okay. Hold on. Hi, Wagner. Good morning. Sir Wagner Feldman, good morning to you, sir. How are you guys doing? Again, you gotta drink your coffee. I got it. I got one. I'm done drinking my coffee. So I don't need to drink more coffee because I'm gonna get nervous then. Lightning, lightning is good. Okay, that's good to hear. Thank you, Mr. Vegas, for uh, informing. Hi, Nadine from Tom. You're doing just fine. Thank you. Wagner Fieldman. Okay. Good to see you here. Thank you for visiting my channel. Hello from a very hot Pilativia, USA. It was 93 of Fahrenheit and 33 Celsius today. How are you doing? I am doing fine. It is hot here also, especially the daytime. I was here all day uh, yesterday. It was really hot. And I have been turning on my electric fan whole day, really whole day. And oh my God, it's really hot. Even here in the Philippines. Lucky Tom, $100. What is that a secret agent? Good morning, secret agent. Good morning to you, secret agent. Wow, Tom, you have gained promotion from 99 to 1. <laughs> Why, Tom, you want me to promote your channel? You are very welcome here, and I can promote your channel without paying anything. My pleasure to help anyone. The light is perfect. You glow up like an angel. Thank you. Good morning, our beautiful friend King. Good morning, Carl. As always, you're here. Thank you so much for the support. I once got $100 to give you a guy the squirt bottle. I had a wet t-shirt contest. Those were the days low. <laughs> okay. Good morning in here. 2134 minus 12. <laughs> That's when um when I do the military time, I'm always said minus 12. <laughs> wow, Tom, you added one cent from your usual amount. Guess you're you're feeling prosperous today. I think so. I think he's feeling prosperous today and grateful. Secret agent, maybe he'll find me a sponsor. All right. Picture please is okay nationally, but I can hear you fine. Are you sure? You guys can he cannot hear me? Are you sure you cannot hear me? Are you sure, guys? What happened to my connection then? What happened to my connection? What happened? That's sad. Okay, guys, I'm gonna go ahead, tackle the content here. I was thinking this content to help you also. And uh, the topic today, guys, this video is the do's and don't in the Philippines. We are, uh, the do's and don't in the Philippines when you are traveling here. So you can know if you're not, uh, if you haven't yet here in the Philippines. But if you already knew, and if you are already staying here for such a long time, for sure, for sure you have already adjusted the culture. And people here, the local people here, uh, for sure you do. Okay, we gonna we gonna um, discuss one on one. Share one on one. You guys can share also your opinion about this. Um, I know uh, subject. And you guys can um, apply it to yourself when you're going here to my country. Okay, do chat with the locals. Guys, when you are here, you should chat with the locals also. Filipinos are very friendly, very hospitable, very hospitable. That They will generally help you with your journey, especially if you're a, a tourist here. If you're a tourist here and you don't know, um, you don't know where you are going to, you know, if you are going, if you don't know the direction and things like that, you can just easily co communicate with the local people here in, in the Philippines because Filipinos are very hospitable and friendly. And if you guys, you guys have more problem or if you're here, even without asking guys, 
even without asking they will going to recommend you or they are going to help you to help you out you know uh they will have to check out a places you know people here in the philippines or local people here in the philippines they are very friendly we are very friendly even though you're not asking guys uh they will going to recommend you or help you out or suggest more places for you to check out so you know things like that so do chat with a local filipinos guys so you should consider that when you are here in the philippines do chat with the locals okay number two is um do extend your patient guys if you are here in the philippines i know you guys you guys are very you have a small patience when you are here in the philippines it is, it is because you are not used to you know you are not used to wait you are not used to you are not used to be like for example in in the middle of in the middle of the mall in the middle of the coffee shop you know and you don't have a lot of patience you you need to be like right away like you know you need to be you you want to be right away like for example you are in the restaurant and you want to order something and then you want to be like what what happened to the waiter you know i as a water i as a service water then until now 10 minutes 10 minutes when i say i i can i have water please and then you're going to say oh until the waiter didn't get anything she just you know because she didn't hear you very well or something like that so you need to have patience guys you know because you are here in the philippines you're not anymore to your place you're out of your country anymore so you need to adjust or you have you need to have more patience when you are here in the philippines when you are in the restaurant coffee shop wherever you are especially in the traffic area in the road when you are driving be patient guys because here the infrastructure the organizations or the, or, or the the road here is different than yours yours is huge and there's no signal light here either so you know you need to have uh a long patience here do extend your patience to be here especially if you're coming into the philippines because here guys especially i know guys especially the traffic when it comes to traffic when it comes to traffic things traffic 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 here in the philippines is common here so you guys need to have more patience you know you need to be a no the trick here guys you know so i can recommend you to extend your patience to be here the longest as you can or to understand as you can it is because you are here you're not anymore to your place the trick guys here to be wise is about you know finding solutions of being monitored you need to have patience and you know understand the situation here because here in the philippines and your place is a big difference okay don't show okay the those and don't um don't show much of your variable things in public guys so especially guys when you are going to travel here okay when you're going to travel here guys do not or don't show your valuable things much especially you are in the public for example you are in the bus or especially here uh if you're going to ride or transport a bus there's a lot of people around you do not um wear any like gold there gold you know show valuable things uh any valuable things that you have guys do not or don't show so much valuable things when you are here in the philippines especially this is your first timer to be here or especially if you are going to travel like for example a simple a simple um transporting in the bus or tricycle wherever you are guys wherever you are in the public in the public that is risky for your valuable things because here in the philippines uh it is very common here for stealing you know scamming and things like that so be very careful with that so don't uh no uh don't show much of your valuable things in public okay so number uh we don't need to say number we're just caring okay don't give uh money don't give like for example you're walking to the street and then you see a lot of us uh, uh kids in the street don't give beggars money 
Okay? Because there's a lot of bigger guys. There's a lot of bigger in the Philippines. Um, they will just said, I, uh, I need to buy food. Uh, ate, Koya. Uh, I, I need money. Can you have money? You know, even 10 pesos, 20 pesos. Kuya, it is very common here. If you are here in the Philippines, I know you know that. You can see street people here, not only kids, but also adult people here in the Philippines walking around the street. And then they're going to a big some money like, you know, they will uh, they will ask you money like a coins and then they will force you. It's okay, it's okay to, give, to give. It's okay to give if, if you see that person is really sincere to you or it is really to, it is, what is this? It is sincere that he's genuine or he is or he or she is really sincere to you that she don't have nothing or he don't have nothing or like for example orphan people or orphan kids they don't have food they don't have home so me being um that's the time that you will uh that that's the time that you will you know we have a, a a good heart we have a we have a good heart to me uh you know uh will going to feel that uh, I feel sorry with this, uh, with this street kids or person because no house, no food, and no family taking care of it, and it's like melting your heart. You know, if you have a good gold heart or good heart, then of course you can, you can feel those uh, feelings. And um, don't give. I'm not saying that don't give money to that kind of person, but um, you should consider also maybe guys do do things that is go to the restaurant or go to a, a stall or a food stall buy foods for him or for her for her you know because um um if you're going to give him money you don't know does he or she really want uh buy these foods does she really want uh does she or he is really sincere that he needs food or maybe just buy a cigarette drinking alcohol or I, I don't know so much better instead of money you will give food food is better than money to to these people in the street so i've always when i walk in when i walk in the street guys i always uh, give um give a um food or instead of money so be very careful with that guys because there are some uh in the street pe uh, local people in the street that they're just asking money but yeah uh deep inside they're not sincere they're just i uh, know they're just doing that for they're just doing that for i uh, know to make you feel pity or sorry okay so another thing is don't be shy to try the video okay guys my goodness <laughs> don't be try uh don't be shy okay try and try it doesn't matter guys you will say okay um i'm gonna i'm not gonna do that too you know you know guys here in the philippines welcome to the philippines if you're new here philippines uh if there we have a free time or we have a day off from work um we are going to uh spend time to our family to do karaoke singing karaoke thing um you know things like that so don't be shy try you know it's it's a culture thing here in the philippines to do that kind of fun thing it is a kind of thing here but i have a lot of friends expats or friend uh, a foreigner that they don't want to be even they don't want to hear a you know a modern was a, a modern um like a modern culture here like a singing like a like they don't want to hear the roster they don't want to hear the the noise here you know the the very noise here in the philippines dog or whatever uh noise that they don't want they feel annoyed which is i understand we understand that but try you know don't be shy to to do karaoke thing you know filipinos love to sing whether whether they are singer or not you know as long as they are enjoying and happy um and as long as they are you are enjoying and happy or the uh, the filipinos family are happy then all is happy too so don't be shy to sing <laughs> so of course guys when you are here in the philippines don't forget to have fun don't forget to have fun that's why you're here <laughs> that's why you're here guys because you wanted to be fun so enjoy your life while you are here in the philippines enjoy your life as much as you can because here in the philippines 
there are so many fun things to do here especially traveling around here places to places or the great spot here in the philippines try to um try to explore yourself here Filipinos, uh, what is this? Filipino sense of humor is very, very light. You know, they love, they love to laugh. We love to laugh here, even in small things. You know, can be different meanings of words, guys. If you are going to be here, you know, pe Filipino people, local people here are very friendly. So while you are here, travel as much as you can, especially the beaches here, and a much more here. So. You know, so yeah, don't forget to have fun. Okay, we're gonna read your comments here. Anyway, 55 people, thank you so much, guys, for joining today or uh, this evening to your place. I appreciate that. Spill the beans, Miss Ging. Thank you, Fanatic Forger. Hello, everyone in the chats. Good morning from G. Uh, good morning from Sis Travel Box. Good morning, CC. Good morning to you as well. Hi, Neymar. Good evening, Neymar. Starbucks always do trick for me. <laughs> uh, it has Starbucks here as well. Morning from Sunny Bantayan Island. Wow, Finding Paradise. Guys, fi Sir Finding Paradise, thank you so much for joining here. I appreciate that. I appreciate the big blogger to be here. Thank you. How was Bantayan Island, sir? I love your videos. I love the footage of the road drone footage. Thank, uh, thank you for sharing that. And I went to Bantayan Islands to Cebu for one time before, but I was 17 years old at that time and I am working. So I didn't enjoy much, but hopefully one day I can be there. It would be awesome. I love the beach. I love the beaches in Bantayan Island. It, it is white sand. Thank you, Finding Paradise, sir, for being here. If you haven't been connected to Finding Paradise, guys, go ahead and search that uh, name, YouTube name, channel. Okay. I've been traveling. My son graduated from college, and I needed a break from social media. Oh, that's cool. That's really good, Dana Jones. That's really good. That's awesome. Enjoy your life with your children. <laughs> Again, good to see you this morning. Good to see you as well, Scott. Secret agent, get Tom a sponsor. Yes. I'm eager to hear Ging's those and don't about us in the Philippines. Okay. Thank you. It's hot here too. You meet. Yeah, it's hot here. It's hot. Hot. Carrie Gunn, you've heard that on of LinkedIn. Give me a channel here today. Crazy. Hi, Ging. Maybe we met when I come there. Oh, uh, we'll see. We'll see. Why not? I think others can explain a wet t-shirt contest, lol. Yeah, it was summer weekend by me. Uh, beach weather time for me. Okay. <laughs> Hello, Tom from Scott. Good morning, Ging from Michael. Good morning to you, Sir Michael. Hi, Scott from Tom. Thank you for becoming a YouTube member, sis. Thank you so much. I appreciate that for the supporting of my channel. Thank you, guys. You're all amazing, guys. Thank you. Thank you, Sissy. Your, your picture is fine. Audio is fine. Okay. Video and sound is perfect. Thank you, guys. Uh, so we're, it's very hot here. I can hear you ging. Birds are chirping here, guys. Birds are chirping. <laughs> okay. I can hear you loud and clear. Video sound is perfect. I hear you fine. Okay. Your stream is fine. <laughs> Thank you, Sir Ricky Boros. Gang, when you met a girl's family, does the family know you're just about to boy, uh, boy their daughter or don't know? What's that, Tom? I was that Scott. When you met a girl's family, does the family know, know you're just about to boy their daughter or don't know? When you're going to meet the family of your uh, girl, Filipina Scott, you need to have a good intentions. Because we have a culture traditions here. We have a we have own culture thing here. No, unless your place, it's a key to your place because you know it's very deliberate liberated. But here in the Philippines, the uh, the culture is different. So you need to have a good intentions then. Good morning, Thomas. Do you know unless gossip will spread, Scott? Hi gang, great topic. Don't talk to expats that you don't really know about and be careful, do not ask. 
ask them for advice. I don't, I uh, know, I don't, I don't, I uh, know. What is this? I'm not, I'm not, I uh, know, I'm not taking advice to, to know, to even, even you guys, you don't, you don't take advice to any person, but you consider to, to lessen or observe. You don't, you don't need to, to follow the advice of anyone. You know, it's, it's about you. I mean, you guys grown, grown enough. So, it's up to you. <clears throat> Thank you. It's been a while that you're, you're not here. So, right for life. Thank you so much for being here. I appreciate your presence for being here. How are you doing? Thank you so much. Yes, that's very right, right for life. They are strangers to me. <laughs> I never met so friendly and polite people like the, in, people in the Philippines. You should try. I agree. Okay. Sis, I see one of the don'ts in the Philippines. If you are a first time traveler, don't wander off at night by yourself if you don't know the area well. 100% correct. Yes, guys, don't, I uh, know. Don't uh, just go to a place that you don't know much because you don't know. They think that you're a foreigner, you know. Some people, some uh, addict people or people in the street that they are going to to have make some fun to you because you are a tourist here. But I don't think so it happened unless if people are drunk or something like drunk addict or something like, you know, crazy people. But it's not going to happen here much. It's, it's the case is not as, you know, worse than that. So... Yeah, just be careful when you're going here. Don't roam around, like, especially nighttime, guys. And you roam around a place that you don't know much people, even, you know, especially if you're a first-timer here. So please be very, be very careful. Good morning, gang from Donald. Good morning to you as well. Can't wait to come over. God bless. Good morning. Little games, good morning to you as well. There are poor carry guns, so I don't know. Gang, I'm Tom, Tom, in Tom Tom's copy, I had a hair in my breakfast. I returned except the new breakfast, they couldn't care less. Is that normal? What? No, it's not normal. They don't have personal hygiene if that if that the case. They need to be very careful when serving food because, um, you know, especially especially foreigner people, guys. Foreigner people is more is more strict strict or high standard or high classy when it comes to things here in the philippines um they are more strict when it comes to when it comes to things here especially the food the restaurant you know some foreigners that didn't have patience and that's the reality okay know that it always takes longer than expected when going to stores and restaurants just chill and relax let your girls at the place yes relax relax you know it's like I observed that to my friend because I have been we we ate together and he's so mad when 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 he when he ordered something and he said what am I doing you know and he's he's starting to more and more he's starting to blah 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 and he couldn't even wait you know so one curious questions is taping at restaurant popular in the Philippines yes um even guys even if i don't have much money or i am not i'm a poor person every time i'm e i'm eating in the restaurant or in a food stall i've always give a tip or leave a tip you know because uh that tip is very helpful to the workers or the staff from the restaurant or the food stall you know they can have those they can have those it is popular in the philippines yes finding paradise see hi to prank the chair on bantayan bantayan Steve, you got a point there. In daytime, it's okay. But after 6 p.m., it can be dangerous. Yes, I, I, I like what I said. Be very careful when it comes to going out at nighttime here because you don't know. In, you don't know here. You know, we cannot control things for other people. Steve, common for expat. I love the friendly people and the slow place after everything so fast and stressful in the United States. Okay. Gang, it's not about being patient. They are just so slow. I mean, it's unbelievable how slow they are at the cashier area. Scott, why don't you try to go to many restaurants? If you can say, if you can say that there's no difference. Here in the Philippines, everything is slow. Everything, the process is slow. Even you get passport or even you get um, any IDs or even you get, you know, like 
like my ano, like my Google Adsense. You can imagine that I don't have the Google Adsense yet. But when I when I applied the manual thing to get my salary or to get my my payment on my YouTube, I do manual thing because my AdSense is not here yet. You know, it's not here yet. So I, I don't know. I don't know what uh I don't know why. <laughs> but it's not it's not new here. Like for example, my registration in my motorbike. So the the registration of my motorbike been a while to the to the company to the hindi hindi dealer but they they just message me late so yeah it's normal scott if there is something in the food it's okay to return and they will give you another it's always happening in some restaurants especially the crowded no hairnet yeah it is always i have tried that too before when i order something when i order something so uh i've always i uh, know I've always, uh, even though I know, but you need, even you say something on there or you say here, there, you still need to be, I know, be respectful. You can ask slow, uh, slow down why it has a hair there. <laughs> Tip if con, yeah, that's good of you. The reason it's slow in the restaurant is because they are out of stock and all the stuff is running to supermarket to pick it up first. That is very true. <laughs> Can I have this one? No, sir. I'm sorry, sir. Out of stock. <laughs> Good morning from Tacloban Lady, Miss Ging. Good morning to you, uh, Sir Jonathan. How are you? A mass in the Philippines, and you mentioned it already, is patient. patience. Especially during high volume tropic times. I agree. I have learned the hard way in Manila. Especially in Manila. Manila is biggest part of uh, Philippines. Manila and Cebu. Manila and Cebu City, there it is a big place. And they, when it is a big place, guys, you should expect the traffic or the heavy traffic in the road, in the way. So even here in Dumaguete, it is a small place, so it's not much traffic, but still traffic, especially that time in the morning, like working, working uh, hours or out hours, like 5 p.m. to 4 p.m., or 6 to 8 a.m. in the morning. It is very tropic here. It's, no, it, it, it's, it's only small town. How much more in the biggest cities like Manila and Cebu City? So, yeah, patience is virtue, man. Scott, it's common here in the Philippines. Always oh, slow. I hated it. But what it is? <laughs> it is what it is. Yes, very true. Again, guys, you are not anymore to your country. You are here in the Philippines. So... Guys, don't complain if you're here. Another another thing, don't complain. Don't much complain. <laughs> don't much complain. I hear a lot of expats complaining. Oh, I hate Philippines. Oh, Philippines is this. Philippines is that. Philippines is low. Guys, don't much complain. Just complain it's too much, small. Not too, not too, not too big. Complain. <laughs> I mean, it's normal to complain. But when you're going to say, oh, I hate Philippines, oh, blah, 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 and you're still here. You're still here in the Philippines, even you hate Philippines, but you still, you are here. You're not in a virtual place. So, you know, much, I know, less complain. <laughs> Please like our game stream. Thank you. Thank you so much, uh, fanatic forager. If possible, try to fit with the locals. Don't be flashy. Correct. Yes, be nice, guys, especially you are here in my place. You know, you are here in my place, so you should consider yourself to be, I uh, know, you should consider yourself to be respectful as well, you know. Don't, don't insult the country or its people, guys, because you are here again. You are here to my country. You are not anymore to your place. Do not insult people here in the Philippines, like, you will say, oh, blah, 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 you know, it's not a good thing. Don't insult the country or its people because you are here. Don't don't disrespect your elders. Like, you know, if, if, here, guys, it is very common to, to bless in older women or older people. It's a kind of respect, you know. Uh, it, is, it is a kind of respect. And, guys, don't open that too easily. Do not open that. Too easily when you are here in the Philippines because here guys uh you need to be flexible in your mind 
flexible you need to be being flexible person because you are here uh don't get offended when when people here are joking around or you know you you will just feel yourself oh why is laughing to me you don't know why he's laughing so you should consider to yourself that you know to find like oh okay they're not i uh, know they're not they're not talking bad to me just you know don't get to open that easily try to us you know so don't uh go without research prior guys like for example steve earlier said do not go to a place especially night time out or go a night out with friends do not trust easily okay do not trust easily because you don't know you don't know uh people here what you can do again if it's drunk people or crazy people they will going to do things bad on you when you are drunk especially when you are drunk and they are drunk too uh it's very risky when you do that you know research first uh do research first before you do things like that okay so i didn't give tip before but i learned from foreigners it's okay to give tip not much yes 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 um i ha i know someone that is always eating in a restaurant that he doesn't even give a tip and i said come on i mean you have money than me you have more money than me why why don't you leave even 10 pesos 15 pesos 20 pesos that's not much five pesos that's not much you know so i mean there are some also that they don't give but i understand hello gang hope all is well with you thank you doing smart smash the like button thank you cc always try to learn the culture as much as possible when you are visiting respect other people like your grandparents parents treat other ladies like your sister daughter when you're Filipina. don't think you can stay in the same island if it doesn't work out and you already meet the family huh? <laughs> don't think you can stay in the same island if it doesn't work out and you had already met the family yes yes because it's a different story when you're going to meet a family and you know that it doesn't work out and you know that this relationship it's not gonna work what's the point what's the point you know what's the point of being like that yeah give tip small tip in a restaurant i've always do employer are paying the employee a minimum wage tip is additional i i have i have experience working in a food stall guys in an e3 so if i handled a customers uh especially most of my customers before in the restaurant that we have foreigners is much uh much much or more generous they give tip to the staff if you are that depends on the uh, no, waiter that depends on the staff if you are very friendly you know how to accommodate them you know you know how to be friendly to them then they will appreciate that some reason also that customers don't give any tip it is because um it is because uh they don't know how to uh, handle the customers no they're not being friendly they're not being they don't accommodate much well you know it's like it's like when you are when you are handling a customers you're you're not smiling you're, you're not being friendly you look like you look like that and you don't know what you know even a single service water you they cannot give so that depends also because there are some customers that they feel mad or they don't like to give a tip it is because of the waiter as well or the staff because the staff don't know how to communicate or I mean accommodate the customers. So it is a, a no also considerable. So the tip guys will be additional to the salary per day. Yes, yes, I agree. Good idea. Thomas, thank you for being here. I will give food to the street people, not advisable giving money. Hi sis, give a tip. Every time I'm in the Philippines, I just give all the money to who I'm with, and then with the ask for money from me, I point i point to here to her i was in cebu i give coins to the beggars they doesn't like it they threw it to me omg are you sure are you sure it's very hot here guys hi gang from australia good morning steve you want paper money oh that's not cool <laughs> that's not a cool idea give the tip directly to the waitress or waiter to not leave it on the table no there are restaurants or michael 
that is not allowed to give a tip right away to the waiter because uh, there are some stall or a restaurant that you can directly give a tip to that person, you know. But if you are in that restaurant, when the manager or the owner of that restaurant, they will going to say, if there's a tip, we need to get put it in the box. After at the end of the day, they are going to split it up. All of the staff well can have it. That most of the restaurant or most restaurant do that. But you will be lucky if if only one staff or only one waiter can have those tip. But if it's if it's going to split the tip, then you can have just a little bit amount of money. Invite you to come here, Ging. Okay. Where was that, Steve, uh, Eric? Hi, sis. Hello, Steve. Thank you for being here. Hi, Sissy, Judea. Thank you for being here, Sissy. Thank you so much. I feel so hot here. Good morning, Guapa. Yes, giving uh, good morning to you as well. Yes, giving your foreign coins just end up so jewelry. Please press the like button, guys. Good for Ging's live stream. <laughs> Thank you so much, Panate. Hello, Dai Judea's live. Hi, Ging. Kamusta ka? I always give food. I don't give money. Pancit Canton or Tasilog. Tosilog. With rice is only 60 pesos from street binder, so it's good just to buy food as a regalo. Yes, that's a big thing. That's a big part. Help. So when it's Philippines or opening up, your guess, I don't guess, but I don't know. <laughs> I don't much, I know, guessing. Because if it's not gonna happen, you guys will, I know, get mad. There's no, I know. I hear that Chaton was locked down again, so... I heard also that the Maggette will be possible, but I don't know. There's no confirm yet. There's no confirm yet. So we'll just observe. Have to go, King. Take care. Thank you. Good night to you, Thomas. Pinay and Pinay sing too much, but I love it. Even I sing when I'm there. Okay. Steve, maybe when everything is vaccinated, maybe next year, hopefully. Um, hopefully. I, I don't know. Thank you, Tom, for being here. And thank you for sharing your blessings. I appreciate that. Okay lang po tayo, Judea's life. Thank you, Sisi Judea. I'm looking forward to meet you. How tall are you and what is your age? I'm actually gaining one inch, guys, for 10. I was surprised when I, when I said, oh, one inch. <laughs> for 10, for 10. And this year, I'm turning 23. Music lighters the situations, lightens the situation. Finding paradise, hello, 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 from sis. Tropic on the way to Bantayan. Okay. Hello to Donna Jones. Yes. And also, if you are at restaurant, it's good to bag up your leftovers and give it to the street kids. Toss and jam is a big favorite with the kids. Correct. I'm always doing that. Like, okay, can I can have take out with this. And if I see kids in the street, I'll give those. Because I feel wasted. Thank you for being here, Sissy, and for becoming a YouTube member. Hi, Lunch. Good morning. When I'm there in the Philippines, it's so hard to turn down little kids. There are bigging, plus I love to help them regardless. It's nice to help without, I know, it's nice to help kids, especially around the street, you know. And some kids also, guys, that parents told them to ask money in the street which is, you know, not a cool idea because, you know, it, you feel sorry. You feel sorry, but if you feel something that is not, you know, that is not appropriate, you, you're just going to get some food instead of money. How are you, Lunch? Good for you, Ricky. Bless your heart. Thanks, gang. I just did a video from the Amazing Beaches in Bantayan Island. It's paradise here. Oh, hopefully one day I can be there, I could be back there. I really love Bantayan Island, actually, guys. It was really amazing place to to must visit. It is a white beaches there. It's amazing. I'd rather birds sharping rather than them dumb roster. <laughs> ah. Thank you so much, Thomas, for sharing your blessings and for becoming a YouTube member. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Sister Travel Vlogs. Ricky, very welcome. Good book. Good book. Please press the like button or game style. Thank you, Thomas. Thank you, Thomas. I can't wait to get back to the Philippines. I love the people there. So friendly, beautiful country. Ging and broccoli with pineapple. Uh, 
Binaigret, Rizeng, yummy and healthy. I love, I love salad. Hi, Brett. Good morning, Sir Brett. How are you, Sir Brett? Kamusta ka? Kamusta ka? Guys, chill. I'm bringing the white ring for Ging. Just make sure it's not the supper ring. Ah, thank you, Tem, for being your team. Yes, the very one surroundings are cold and up of um Candy Mountain. It's internet uh, gag. <laughs> okay, two years ago I was in Australia, Aurora and Mindanao, and we went down a mountain. And we're at the bottom was big swimming pool. Spring water is going through it. Wow, that's really romantic. And tip, don't expect a tip. Yes, not expecting it. At they're not asking. It's up to you if you give a tip or not. I'm 275 LBS. It's not dangerous for me. 10 months to have a baby over there. <laughs> Thank you, Steve, for sharing your blessings. I appreciate that. Good night, Ging. Gonna get ready for sleep. Back to work for me tomorrow. Have a good night, Steve. As always, thank you for being here. Bestie Brett. Hi. Hi, sis from Brett by Steve. Lockdown na po sa Valencia, Ging. Two weeks. Oh my God. Really? They're always like making lockdown. I don't believe COVID. They're just making it worse. I, I, I don't know. In Philippines, the women like men that are muscular or will they be afraid? Um, I don't know. It depends on the Filipina. It depends on the woman. So it depends on the woman. Don't complain wherever you are at. Yes. Do not complain. Remember, you are sleeping the Philippines. You're not sleeping on your country. So be nice where you are here. Haha, <laughs> maybe afraid. I'm coming to the Philippines again. I love to meet you. Okay, that's really good. That's really good. Hopefully everything will be okay. I avoid complaining. Too much to complain. Nothing happens. Let's go with the flow. Yes, go with the flow, guys. As long as you're here. <laughs> When moving into a different district or province, best to introduce your to the local barangay. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Antonio Johnson, good morning. How long does the pair take from Dumaguete to Cebu? Okay. From Cebu to Cebu land, that will take, that will take, I think, 30 minutes. 30 to 45 minutes from, um, in the ferry, it's not that long from Dumaguete to Santander. That's only takes a minute, you know, 25 to 30 minutes, depends on the speed up. So, but if you are just going to, I uh, know, if you're just going to, to Magyati, to Santander, or Port Liloan, to Bato. But if you're going to, to Cebu, to directly to the Magyati, I, I didn't experience yet uh, from, from Cebu to the Magyati. I didn't experience yet. But I've seen uh, Mia, Filipina Life with Mia. She is traveling from Dumaguete to Cebu from Perry. Then maybe you can check out her channel. Okay, hold on, guys. Ging, you are so intelligent and great at evaluating the perspective of foreigners. Set your standards high and don't settle for an expat that does not respect you. Yeah. Learning, don't settle for less. Thank you so much. Right for life, wait for life. It is funny, guys. There are some foreigners coming here that they don't want a, you know, muscular. I think muscular. What's it? A Filipina that you know is not being, you know, that they think that uh, the Filipina is more smarter than them, and they think that you know they don't like being like that. So it might happen. Right for life. To it happens people to be here for some purposes or some reasons. Thank you for that. Thank you for being here. It's good to see you here again. Yes, when traveling to the Philippines, have patience and go with the flow and everything will be fine. Yes, you're here. You're stepping in my country. <laughs> Brian Barnes, good morning. Gang, let me tell you my complaint. I'm holding hands with my GF and Filipinos just there. Not look, but just there. Is this wrong to complain about? Scott, you cannot you cannot cover your eyes. It's normal to 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 stare. It is normal to stare because they have eyes. We cannot control them if they want to stare. 
They can stare whatever they want. They can stare as uh, longer as, as as they want. Whatever, if you're going to hug, if you're going to kiss, if you're going to holding hands, people is going to stare because they have eyes. What we can do with this? It is what it is. Right, right, I'll strictly agree. Thank you. No need to complain about staring. Too many stop in their minds. Oh God, we cannot control them. We cannot control the thousand eyes, billion eyes. <laughs> 75% of my viewers are over 55 years old, almost equal men versus women. Okay, Tom. Congratulations, Tom, to your channel. Tom, you can drop your link here. I'm going to give you a chance to get, drop your link. But you should be nice and you should be good boy here. Okay, drop your link here, Tom. I let you drop your link here. Okay, go ahead. No tip, always wear a smile. <laughs> well said, Ging. Thank you, Jason. Kamusta? How are you, Jason? It's been a while. You're not here. Thank you for be, uh, coming back. <laughs> Important to remember as foreigners, we are guests in the Philippines. Yes, always remember that, guys. You are just guests here. So just less complain. I agree. It certainly helps. Yeah. <laughs> Does the tip get passed on on the stop or just owner take it? Okay. Um, Steve, again, it depends on the restaurant. Either you can give directly to the staff or the waiter that handle on, on your table, or either this, the manager will said, if there's a tip from a customer, they are going to put it on a one box. Then after, at the end of the day, they are going to split it up. The, the staff or the waitress or the workers were going to split up that tip, not the owners. Okay, respect the Philippines when foreigners traveling there. This is their country and we are, there, we are there to visit. If you don't respect your country, they can block, blacklist you from coming back. Yes, you can be banned if you're not being nice here. Blue, blue. <laughs> Don't trust into relationship even you have been chatting online for a year. Know that it's different person in person. So take time to know each other before hooking up. Don't play with the Filipinas. Oh, thank you so much for that sharing that. I love your I love your thoughts when it comes to Filipinas. You have a big respect to the Filipinas. And I really love your mindsets. Your your wife is very lucky to have you, sir. Your wife is very lucky to have you. Did you go to Cebu because he was afraid of your dad? Scott, you're not hurrying in your questions. Why don't you ask him? <laughs> Why you not turn off your aircon? Because I couldn't find that. Uh, no. I don't know where is that because I'm cleaning uh, yesterday. I uh, I am so busy yesterday packing up the sandals and, you know, delivering the standards. And today I'm going to ship three sandals also to the bow. And one of my friends uh, ordered from the bow, so I'm going to ship it. And I will be busy today after this. So yeah, I don't know where is that. I don't know where I put it. So I gave it like, I cannot remember. Don't get, okay. Don't get yourself blacklisted from traveling to the Philippines. Have respect for your country and follow the rules in the laws that they have. Okay. Hi, gang, gang. Questions, the dose of how to meet your pet. Bab? Favorite Filipina when coming to the polls. Do not, do not do, what do not do, they say she wants that. Aha, uh -huh, what happened to your questions, oi? What happens to your, uh, no, I'm, I am not bleeding here. <laughs> do, the dose of how to meet your favorite Filipina when coming to the Philippines. And don't not do, what, uh, can you please pardon the uh, comment, please? It's good to learn a few local words. Kamusta ka? How are you? Yes. Salama. Thank you. Masarap, delicious, or yummy. Mabuti ako. I'm fine or I'm good. Yes. Please like and share. Subscribe for our games match. Uh, stream match. Thank you, guys. I'm hearing no open until 2023. Oh, my goodness. Another don't. Don't have your Filipino online grab and meet you at the airport. Take it slow. <laughs> okay. Take it slow. Get to know each other. 
gains the dose of how to date your Filipina when committing to the Philippines and do not. Uh -huh. Is this out of the topic? Okay, do, those, those how to date your Filipina and, and donuts. Okay, it is out of the topic. So, Sir Kevin, maybe we can do another topic with that. When you date your, the dose and don't, when you date your Filipina. So for now, we're going to go ahead and uh, focus on our subject here. But because there are a lot of comments here, so I couldn't, I couldn't, I couldn't, uh, I don't know, read as much I, as I can. I'm trying my best to. But oh, how to date your Filipina, guys? It is very simple, guys. You know, respect. Be a gentleman. You know, don't, you know, that's the most important thing. Be a gentleman. Respect the culture. Respect her. Respect her family. Be nice. Be kind. You know, that's the more important thing. Do not be respect. Do not be disrespectful. Of, you know, respect her family. Respect uh, her as well. So, thank you for the questions. Michael, well, I agree. Salamat. Do you get nervous when it's Monday? Lo? Why do I need to get nervous then? King, have you been to Bantayan? I have been to Bantayan one time because my boss, my boss, when I was working in Cebu, my uh, I was a nanny at that time. So a kid that a kid is a ring bearer. So they bring me there to Bantayan Island because the wedding held to Bantayan Island. Take your time to meet your Filipina in person and don't rush. Look at Nid. He made a relationship with Michelle and didn't know her. And it was complicated for him. Then got stuck uh, with a wife and baby. All right. How about you there, host? Thank you, Salmon, for being here. As Ozzy would call a girl important to pocket rocket, lol. <laughs> Ozzy is tall. Ozzy is tall. Also, it's very sexy. I was following them. I was following them. They are a very sweet couple. I love this couple. Gang, do you get tired of Sims? I don't mind. I don't mind them. I don't I don't mind them. You know? I don't take it serious. If I don't take it serious, Scott. I know who's simping and not. I know who's trying to be serious and I know who's not who's not. You know? We Filipina knew we're not we're not just sleeping we're not closing our eyes, and I don't mind I don't care about them you know I don't I don't take it serious. Phils is famous um, for having the worst service on earth. If I ever good service, I a tip big. Yes, yes, yes. Consider it's it's enough considerable also, but it is what it is. Talk, Scott, you're here in the Philippines, so just less complain. I'd love to meet a kind, sweet Filipina, but I don't really have to support her family. I wish you luck for that, Steve. The locals say to you, why are you with foreigner? And think it must be just about money. It is. It is. And that's the reality, Steve. That's the reality. People or local Filipino will say that. You know, again, the topic from the last slide that I have, the criticism, or the criticism from a local Filipino, it can be happen. You know, why are you with a foreigner? You know, you're here, you are in a relationship with a foreigner because of visa, your relationship with a foreigner is because he was successful. Oh, you're just successful because you have a foreign boyfriend, or you just want a foreigner boyfriend because you just want money. You know, Steve, if you're going, uh, a Filipino going to date a foreigner, and it is very expected to 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 deal the criticized thing. Tom is always good boy. Okay. Welcome home from province gang. But seems it may have been colder in the province than in your home today. Lol. Yes, correct. We all stare at attractive people. Who are the opposite sex? <laughs> because we have eyes. What we can do? <laughs> good morning, Sissy Labs. How are you, Labs? Thank you for being here. Judy, good to see you. How are you, sis? Like and share. Thank you so much. I'm okay, CC. Thank you for asking. I appreciate your time for being here, loves. Drop your link, very love. Thank you so much. Are you at the past is paying milk coconut tree climber in your province? <laughs> I don't know. I didn't know that uh, as, as fast as mine. 
<laughs> oh wow, as fast as I'm mine. Guys, connect to a uh, Tom. Tom is dropping his link, so you can drop, you can grab the link. Tom's channel is great. Try to drop a link on YouTube. Eat, eat it. I just searched Tom Young Jan in YouTube. Okay, maybe uh the YouTube thing don't like you to to drop your link. Oh, I'm sorry, Tom. Hello, gang. How are you, my friend? I'm good. Thank you for asking, Rotherings. Good to see you here. Tom, I see your link. Okay, this it's work. It's work. It's working. It's working, Tom. It's work, Tom. Okay. Thank you, Thomas. You get gang sandals for a man size 44. <laughs> I don't have sandals for a man. Just for a woman. Just for a Filipina. I don't have lots of friends that needed a sandal i have friends that is filipina so i'm still in a girly stuff <laughs> thank you so much thomas the link worked for me okay have i been black huh are you serious if you've been black you cannot comment here you are not thinking tom <laughs> gang your thumbnail bikini is almost uh does not there's more worse than that there's more one worse than that so don't be mean here tom thank you so much for the blessings ging how long were you a nanny for like seven months i was working for that um for that uh boss that i have in cebu i was seven months almost a year yes given age uh does not know how to write in english thomas thank you thank you matthew thank you school trade has freeze Hello, CC. Good morning to you. I'm good. Thank you, Sean. How are you? Hello, Sean. Uh, okay. Getting your constant beginning pics will attract the wrong guy kind of guys. The short term ones just looking for fun. Do I? Do I? Do I looking for fun too? Again, I don't mind. People are simping. They can. They can do whatever they want. We cannot we cannot control the mindset of other people, the wonder. So let it be. <laughs> be aware, yes. Smart enough. Why do you say need is stuck with Chichai? You think he's unhappy with her? Why do you say stuck? I think they are happy each other. They are happy. They are happy. And they have beautiful, adorable son. A son or daughter, I'm always following them. They always generalize not good. Yes. That's sad. I uh, know that's sad. It is because they generalize. They generalize when they have experienced bad. Uh, they experience bad. Uh, they experience from their past. They generalize, but they don't know what they're talking about. Maybe they wanted to be married with new baby. I didn't know. I didn't think. Think that was his original interest for retirement. Okay. The Wonder King is just expressing her femininity. Yes, true. <laughs> if the restaurant ch charges Filipino prices, I expect Filipino service. If they charge for foreign prices, like Tom Tom, expect foreign service. Okay. I I get your point, Tom. I Scott. Hello, Hope is well. Hi, Robert. Good morning. How are you, Robert? Ging, will you shower after this, Elise? Have you heard of OnlyFans? Mm, yeah, I'm gonna shower, jump, and then work, work, work. Like the stream, everyone. Thank you, Brett, my friend. In the West, it's rude to stare. We try to make it not look obvious if we must stare. Yeah, if I will stare also, it's not obviously that I stare. I, I am staring. You know, you can just stare. Stare like a steel. <laughs> no, it's not a no. It's weird. It's weird when you stare someone, you know. So maybe if you're not watching them, they're, they're staring. So there are some. It can happen here in the Philippines, guys. Good morning, Bobby. How are you, Bobby? Eating oranges. Wow, yummy, healthy. Gang, are you tired of Scots in 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 stay sand questions? No. Because I used to deal with it, so I'm not anymore. I'm not anymore. I don't mind. I don't give a. I don't give like you know. I mean, Scott is Scott is always here. So I know I know him since ever since he's following and you know, 
he's not ano he's not he is also like that to any blogger so it's not new to me <laughs> it's not new to me i used to deal with it my filipino was very young but mature her parents never divorced and a small close family of hard workers i'm lucky to have met her she's honest and i didn't just pick me because i i made it to philippines congratulations you guys are a great couple god bless you have some welcome always i'm always with good week and day was fine that's really good that's awesome thank you for being here you are lucky yes very lucky ging have you ever met the famous need and she's shy no i haven't but they are here in dumagetti they are here in dumagetti ging twice he called me tom hope all is well with you ging uh, wear whatever you feel comfortable in you're always respectful as long as i know myself i know myself so i don't mind you know who knows myself is only myself <laughs> you know yourself you yourself you know yourself i don't know yourself i don't know you and you don't know me so be fair i enjoy a lot of time getting the garden re ready i love gardening i really do love gardening hi jess good to see you here jesse just good to see you here it's been a while you're not here i thought you're mad i thought you're mad at me Thank you so much for being here. I appreciate that. Scott, she doesn't want me. Welcome in Jess. Like Gang Stream, good book. Tom Young John Future, YouTuber, Superstar. Go, Tom, go. Sorry, I've been playing cards with family all week, and it's okay. I appreciate your time for being here and your presence. I know you guys are busy, but I appreciate you guys are here. Did you win? Did you win then? <laughs> Jess, did you win? Oh my goodness. Did you win? Scott King made me give my dear to another crazy Tom. Do the dose change from city to province. Okay, for the next week, do, for the next, I know, thank you for the I know, suggestion, Matthew. Those and don't change from city to province. Okay. Thank you, Jedi. Matthew Possible. Better wear sunglasses than staring. <laughs> Beware of the six plus. Oh my goodness. <laughs> okay, that's a good advice. If you're going to stare someone, guys, you need to wear a black glasses that they cannot see you, that you are staring. <laughs> so if you are staring to someone, you don't need to you know to worry because you are wearing a sunglasses a black sunglasses that they cannot see you so that is really funny <laughs> oh my god because i have been trying that before i'm wearing a glasses even i'm watching even i'm staring already but they cannot notice that i'm staring or i'm i, I stare that person so i think that cool that would be a cool idea <laughs> Apparently, Ging thinks a lot of us regular viewers are simps. <laughs> you guys are playing. I'm gonna play you too. <laughs> Mr. Bigas, I respect other insights and I respect those people or things like that. I mean, we cannot control them. So I respect those of you. Even some people are insulting. Some people are, you know, talking bad things. But I don't mind because... I know myself they don't know me i don't know you i respect your thoughts i respect your judgment and that's fine you can criticize as you want and that's fine i mean what we can do what we can do with it <laughs> i love gardening too game yes i love gardening too ben bless herring family bearing family lousy players lol <laughs> wow that's really good jess you have a lot of time for your family give them to your family while still alive <laughs> yeah no it's 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 you get you're gonna be regrets at the end of the day you don't spend your time to your family and to your children when they grow up they will get full of hate to you well you are enjoying to yourself so <laughs> i'm busy eating oranges <laughs> Are you tired of Jeffrey's mess innocence uh, questions about Scott? No, I don't get tired. 
I love taking challenge. Been taking with a Filipino for over over month. We met Filipino Cupid. I hope it works out. Direct. I wish you the best for that. And please be aware and be observant. You know, um, I'm happy for you. You know, just take your time. Get to know each other. That's cool. Ging, how are you? I'm doing good. I'm good. Thank you, Sam, for asking. How are you, Sam? Good to see you here, Sam. Sam. Ging, when your sis is Aiden, will she be able, available to have a, a, a BF? No. I don't want to. <laughs> I don't want to. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> good idea, Thomas. I wear sunglasses. <laughs> it's funny though. You're gonna wear sunglasses and so no one can see you that you are staring them. <laughs> Gang, why are there so many lesbians, lesbians in the Philippines? You're asking me, but I know I don't know why too. Uh, I mean, lesbians, gay is a lot here. So yeah, everyone is human. So all we need to do is respect them, and that's what we all need each of us respect. You know, so I cannot answer that why. And there's so many gay and lesbians here, so I, I don't mind. I respect them. I'm very excited that Philippines might open soon. We'll be going to Cebu and Doma for the first time along with the bow. Oh, that would be cool, Jess. That would be cool. Oh, we are you looking forward to that, Jess? Hi, gang. Kratos here, not a troll, always. You're not a troll. <laughs> Jess, will you meet King in Doma? Tom, don't get up. Don't give up. Calling the doctor, hoping to get shots. Okay. Here is a don't. Don't let your Filipina GF start her own YouTube channel because soon after she will dump you. Are you sure? Are you sure the wanderer? That's kind of selfish thing. That's kind of that's kind of selfish thing <laughs> do not do not let your um do not let your girlfriend to have on youtube channel the wonder because maybe you will dump your girlfriend because you get jealous how about that says travel blogs thank you sissy what's your what is your i know what is your thoughts about the wonder thoughts the filipino will dump you or a partner will dump you because he's he's losing appetite to you. So wonder are you uh saying that couple blogger in the Philippines uh their boyfriend is their boyfriend starting them or help them to start a YouTube channel and then they will dump their boyfriend? Are you saying that? Not all the wonder. <laughs> Yeah, he's so funny. Nobody will go into the Philippines for every long time. Yeah, it's been a while. I like your comment, gang. A further visiting or expat needs to act like an adult, not like an ager that gets attention. Yes. It is. <laughs> gang, it's better your sis gets a foreign BF. It's better than a local province boy. Why? What's what's in your what what uh why you say that? Why you say that? Why you say that, Scott? That um, it's better to have a, a, a partner boyfriend than a Filipino? It, it's not about money. It's not about money. You know, Filipinos love, the love of Filipinos are different than the foreigners. And I can prove it. <laughs> so the most important, uh, Scott, is you are happy. You respect each other. You love each other, even for worse, for good. Even in a, in a, you know, even your, uh, when you're showing your worst attitude, they are still there and things like that. So it depends, Scott. There are some, um, there are some local, there are lo some local province Filipino that they are, you know, very hardworking, you know, and there are some Filipinas that they just want that um they just want that kind of person you know because of uh the traitor that that they think thing different than a westerners or a foreign boyfriend there's the thing that you cannot find in foreigner 
And there's a thing that you cannot find in Filipino when it comes to love, when it comes to relationship, you know? <clears throat> okay. I don't want my girl, I don't want my sister to be with someone that is simping. <laughs> Good morning, gang. I wish you and everyone have a wonderful day. Many greetings from Germany. Good morning, Rini. How are you, Rini? Good morning to you as well, or good evening to you. Okay, gang, all the Sims, I just put their different glasses to watch the live stream. <laughs> Even I'm not you're wearing a glass, I know who is simping. <laughs> Even I'm not wearing a glass, um, I know what who is simping and who is bullshitting. <laughs> The wonder has wandered off again. <laughs> I'm surprised that there are so many guys in the Philippines since it is a Catholic country. Shout out to you as well. Good morning. I wonder too. I wonder how. Business, pa business partner in uh, LA was born in Doma. So you have a nice place to stay. Hello. Who was that lucky woman? Jess. Wow, says, <laughs> thank you, Jess. Thank you so much for sharing your blessings for being here. I, I, I guess you really win to your, I know, playing cards there. And thank you so much for your blessings to share here. Ah, thank you. <laughs> caring is blessed. Uh, sharing is, I know, caring is, I know, caring is, giving is caring. <laughs> thank you for sharing your, I know, blessings. I know you win. You win. We are learning a lot about gang today. Thank you, Mr. Vegas, for being here. I appreciate that. It depends if the partner is good. Yes. If you are good, we can be good. If you are not good, why not play the battle begin? <laughs> Fanatic Porter, thank you. Jess, thank you so much. You know, Be good, guys. If you are good, you deserve to have a good woman. If you're not good, you don't deserve. He said it because he thinks Filipinos do not have that. Yeah. <laughs> he said that because they think Filipino does not have money. Are you sure that Filipinos uh, don't have money? Why? There's a lot of Filipinos are successful through their hard works. And I, I don't I know. I don't um I don't agree with that, I know. <laughs> but I respect that. Gain your skin is glowing more and more. Keep getting sun. I'm gonna go get a sun kiss. Sun kiss. I'm gonna go get a sun kiss in the beach. You get lucky if you found the right one. If not, good luck. Yes, but it's okay, sis. They don't want to, to have a no, they don't want to settle down, they don't want to commit, then they just want to have fun. So it doesn't matter at all. It doesn't matter. I encourage my Filipina to have channel with me. Pete couple in the Philippines, she did some videos, but often that blogger that was older. She just was honest and don't think that Pat or the expat is good. Okay. Not all foreigners are good, lots of assholes, and I know a lots of them. <laughs> I know a lot of a lots of them. I know a lot of a lot of them. Good morning, keep safe. Thank you, Dai. Good morning to you as well, Dai. Good morning to you as well. <laughs> Good point, sis. A lot of us hold there. Acting that they uh, no. Acting that they are they know everything, Jude. Good morning, Gene. Good morning, Mark. Good morning, Mark. I received your email a last pass. Is that you? Is that you talking about the ano? Uh, is that you, Mark? I, I don't know if it's that you. I'm just saying. Saying it's okay to say because that's the reality. I wouldn't have a relationship with a blogger. Okay. There's no there's no forever in a couple blogger. That's what he said. <laughs> there's no forever in a no in a couple blogger. <laughs> and that's that, that's what they're saying. But I don't believe that. <laughs> The Philippines is just like every other country. We hold up good, bad things in it. Yeah. Package. Good and bad person is there. Same as with Filipino. Not all are good and responsible. Yes. Some Filipino are responsible. Some foreigners are responsible. 
you know so vice versa guys you know well gang maybe the youtube girl give her a babe a reason to be a jealous and dump her especially when you are doing sexy dance on youtube are you sure are you sure wonder um okay <laughs> And I respect that, I uh, know, I respect that comment, you know. What if Wanderer, you found your partner that he has active site in the, in the, uh, no, dating site? What you gonna do? What if, if your partner is active on the site all this time? What you wanna do? Good point, Mike, and I would not date a YouTube girl. Okay. <laughs> it's okay to date a youtuber that there should be a limitations and boundaries yes 100% sis correct 100% cc papa they don't want to date you too yes you don't want to date a youtuber i don't want to date a youtuber i don't want to date you too that's a good <laughs> i love that answer scott you sometimes i know being nice to me too you don't want to date a YouTuber, then don't date a YouTuber. I'm a YouTuber, my beef not. He's okay with it. He is not against it. As long as I know my limits. Yes. Correct. Correct. It's 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 a no mind, guys. It's nothing. There's nothing if you if you date a YouTuber. It's depend on you. If you don't have trust, if you trust your partner, then that's a good thing. But if you don't have trust your partner, and if you are doing things that is respectful to your partner, you know, that's the different thing. As long as you you guys know you know your limitations and boundaries. Magandang umaga. Good morning to you as well. Good morning. Jenna Maru, good morning. Ging, if your sis was dating a partner, would you worry? Yes. 100% worry because I have been there. I've been there. And I don't want to let my sister take the rest of stupid foreigners here in the Philippines. Oh, sorry. Scott, they won't date you because of the way you look. <laughs> you guys are so crazy. Yes, that's me. Simp live master. <laughs> Scott. Hello, Eric from says, we love your vlogs to see. It is just harder for me to join you guys since business is picking up again so good and bad. Okay, are you actually the guy living in Newton Cebu? You can't pull us one. Yes, he's living in Cebu. I think he's living in Cebu with his best friend. Do you have best friend wanderer from Cebu too? Do you live in Lapu Lapu? Hi, sis. I'm Eric uh, Sherman. It's okay, Jess. If you're looking on a vlog to find a girl, then you are seriously desperate. <laughs> Respecting boundaries, then karma lets you be a boundary. Yes. Yes, correct. Yeah, some foreigners doesn't like you to show your sexy outfit. They want you to be simple. Don't flirt. <laughs> Don't flirt. Back off. Simple. As says, but at least we can see you are honest and don't hide your true thoughts. I respect that. I don't hide my true thoughts. You know, I don't hide. I mean, I respect them too. That's their thoughts. <laughs> That's your thoughts, guys, right? <laughs> Hello, King from Georgia. Hi, Pan Pops. Good morning. Everyone is potential YouTuber. Oh, you said he was stupid. Gang, your sis might get pregnant and the partner marries her. It's a good thing, Iba. No, I don't know. I don't know, Scott. Dating a YouTube girl is okay if she respects her man's feeling and not wearing g back if he doesn't like it. Yeah, it depends on you, you know. I can see, guys, if you are wearing a bikini in the thumbnail or wearing in a bikini, as long as you're not, you're not, you are not chatting publicly, you are not, you are not doing bad things to your partner, or you are not doing that can disrespect him, you know? So if you're not doing, you're not guilty. You know, you're not guilty because you're not doing things that can disrespectful to him. You're not, you're not talking privately. You're not cheating on him. You're not, you're not doing things that can, the, the, the things that painful it 
if you are the one catch him or cuts her that she he is the one doing things even you know he is very good or you know that's the most important thing respect trust your partner if you don't have trust your partner then that's useless then you know so okay thank you thank you so much 75 people thank you for being here thank you go on sir other and thank you for becoming a youtube member okay where do you live now i am live here in dumagetti blessings peeps will pick your blogs up during this week stay safe and healthy jess thank you again jess i appreciate you jess for being here and for sharing your uh, blessings and thoughts have a blessed night have a blessed night thank you good night jess this getting hot topics game yes and i love to if it's topic is getting hot i'm gonna give a hot bomb too let's get bomb scott i think you have never been with a girl before because you're on a blog trying to hook up what well, and why you are being so serious papa roach don't be serious then don't be serious <laughs> I would date YouTube, but only if she has at least 20k subscribers, like being with a winner. Wow. Wow, not all. Papa, Papa, I like being sister. Nah, nah, you are crazy, Scott. Okay, guys, we're gonna go ahead 10 minutes more and we're gonna call it a day. I'll be busy, guys, actually. I'll be busy. I'm gonna deliver the uh, sandals and send it to the bow. So I would love to give a shout out. 69 people in the house. Thank you guys. You are all amazing. <laughs> and thank you for being here as well. As the next part is secure with himself is okay. That is GF is a blogger. Many expats have successful channels showing off their 60 GF. Yes. I mean, look at Ozzy and the other one. And look at the other bloggers here. It doesn't mean you're wearing, it doesn't mean you're wearing 60 clothes. You are like that. You know, remember you cannot judge the the book by its cover, guys. You don't know them. And there's a lot of successful YouTubers that they are. You know, they don't know. They they know how to handle their relationship. Her sister could get a mind in the Philippines. She do not need you. Nobody needs somebody that's a black Scott. You sound desperate. Papa Ruth, you are so serious. We're just making a joke here. As long as we are splitting the money, my girl can be a YouTuber really as long as you are guys working together you can do half please like game stream guys thanks hello you don't need to give a no super chat love <laughs> i'm enjoying your live game as always gotta go ingat palagi people more thank you love thank you sis thank you so much for becoming a youtube hello we got a youtube member pagod guys if you haven't i know if you haven't connected to sis travel vlogs please grab the link guys she's a big youtubers i think 11k 10k now so you guys have been uh, connected to cities just travel vlogs go ahead and draw, uh, get the link thank you so much for sharing your blessings sis ging if sis did a friend would you want to go join them no no and i don't want to <laughs> trust love if the philippines if you catch your husband in the act you can kill them Papa Rush, we don't know the future. <laughs> Scott, are you in Cebu too? You are with your best friend? Scott, she does the vlog to make money. She is not here trying to sell her sister. Especially the boundaries on those small bikinis. Hi, gang. Enjoy your vlog in mountain. Thank you, Dan, man. I appreciate you here for being here. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for being here. I appreciate that. How are you, Dan, man? <laughs> Salamat po, Ging. You're welcome po. Good morning, Ging. I am planning to on moving their first part of your next year. Where do you live and you like where you live? I live in ano, Bayawan. I, I live originally in Bayawan City, guys. I'm here in Dumaguete for now. Dumaguete, this is Negros. This is part of Visayas. So, yeah. Ging, do you expect your sis to never have a BF? I want her to finish her school first. Ang isang tao dito ay walang mga hangganan. <laughs> Direct, thank you so much for being here. 
Hi dad smiling ging. Hi dad smiling ging. What's that? What's that? What's that Jay? <laughs> the topic is getting hot. It's out of order notice of the topic. So anyway guys, hope you learned something from the do's and don't. Hope you guys learned something from the do's and don't guys. If you ha are late here, so you can just replay the the uh, video guys so you can just uh, listen. Okay? So <clears throat> The wonder is just kidding. Why don't take it serious? Quick hello to all loves. I'm so busy this day. I'm preparing my wedding program. I share my blessings to kids here. I'm out next time, loves. Yeah, thank you so much for doing this, love. And thank you for uh you know for stopping by. I'm gonna go ahead and call it a day as well, love, because um I'm gonna go ahead um ship my product and also I'm gonna be busy with things here. So hala hi dai. How do you know hi, Dai? <laughs> hi, Barry. Congratulations, Barry. Congratulations, Ging. I've been following you for a while. I think you're doing very good. You are adorable. I think you're very sweet. I love the Philippines. Keep up the good work. Aloha. Thank you, Barry. I appreciate that for uh, the compliments and, you know, for stopping by here. Thank you so much for uh, being here. I, I'm getting dizzy, guys. Anyway, guys, thank you so much. I'm well being sent a people. Thank you so much, Dan Mans. Thank you so much for supporting us. I know you are a supporter to Rinalin Jainga. So today I'm gonna send I'm gonna send the sandal of Rinalin Jainga. You guys haven't checked out the Rinalin Jainga, guys. Check out Rinalin Jainga, guys. She's an amazing person. Okay. Dan Man, thank you so much. Have a blessed night to you. I'm practicing. Thanks, Ging. See you next time. Yes. Sorry for missing you, Ricardo from North Carolina. It's okay. I, I feel dizzy, guys. I'm gonna go ahead, guys, and call it a day. Okay. Uh, Ricardo Smith, shout out. Thank you. Thank you so much. Nice stream, Ging. Chat was hilarious again. <laughs> Gonna bump and bump. <laughs> Sir Eric, thank you so much. Thank you so much for being here. Dan Man, can you send me a people too? I also ignore you, I promise. Gang should have a cold a Lego and cold down. Okay. All right. Thank you so much, everyone, for being here. Gang, leave. No, no, don't go. Guys, I, I'm gonna miss you. I'm gonna miss you. I will see you soon again, the next of the day. I will try to release video tomorrow morning from my province. I will do edit video today if I'm not going to be busy. I'm going to edit video tomorrow and do another live streaming tomorrow. I'm going to find another topic for you guys. And yeah. And, 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 and I would love to give a shout out to these people watching and joining today. If you haven't connected to my new videos, guys, connect to my new videos. Uh, if you haven't checked out um that's my new videos if you guys can uh haven't haven't connected to rinalin jainga guys ha um get the link of rinalin jainga as well thank you so much everyone i i really do appreciate your uh, presence for being here danman thank you again danman can you do a fruit blog what is that mukbang mukbang fruit blog why not that would be awesome that would be awesome so anyway, guys, thank you so much for uh, joining today's live stream or at this night. Have a great weekend, everyone. Have a great weekend and enjoy your family and friends. And I will see you next time. Love you all. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Be safe, everyone. Don't forget to smile while you still have teeth. <laughs> Bye, guys. Love you all.